my whole life has been dedicated to conservation, to the conservation of species, plants, animals, and ecosystems. And the biggest threat now to their continued existence, as well as frankly to civilization, is climate change. And so I didn't want to build a house that would be contributing in any way to climate change. I wanted it to be, quote, net zero. And by net zero, it's commonly meant a house that has zero carbon emissions and uses no net energy over the course of the year. Um, well, we've known Larry for a while. Uh, he came to us and you know, wanted a house. And uh, uh, he and Nancy met with them drew some preliminary plans. We loved his buildings we've done up here, we'd seen. Uh, so we sat down with him and we did the basic layout, which hasn't changed, uh, and sketched it out. We wanted three bedrooms, we wanted it laid out in a certain way, uh, and Peter helped us with that. And then he wanted to go the full green net zero, and I said, you know, that's kind of out of my league. I mean, I, I can draw up a nice house and build you a house, but I don't know a lot about that stuff. And. Uh, so we contacted uh, Chuck and he came, he got involved and, and Jesse handled the lead end. And the most challenging is uh, to create a building envelope, a skin, and that's the roof and the walls and floor. Create a building that uses half of one third of what a code built new building would use. So a tremendous amount, a tremendous reduction. And the, the getting to a net zero product is especially challenging in a more severe climate. And this is a very severe climate, the most severe I've worked in. This is a 9,000 degree day climate. And it's cloudy a bunch. And um, so um, it's, it's part of the reason why this is a more interesting project than, than many. <laughs> Over the course of the year, we've estimated now that we're going to generate about 17 kilowatts of solar energy and use about Oh, 12 to 14 kilowatts in total, including all the heating and cooling and electricity use of the house. So we'll be net positive, we, we anticipate. This, this building is going to be a LEED, uh, shooting for the highest rating, a LEED Platinum. And LEED is a very comprehensive look at, at building itself. To get all 38 points, you need to have a net zero home. And that's what we're striving for on this project. And that involves all aspects, uh, electric from the lights, the, the light bulbs that are chosen, the appliances that go in, uh, the heating system. Right now, the um, Adirondacks, there's something like 80,000 private homes in the Adirondacks and quite a, quite a significant number of commercial and institutional buildings. And collectively, they emit 400 tons of carbon a year. At the same time, we'd all be saving money instead of exporting our money to Saudi Arabia for oil, we'd be keeping here in the Adirondacks. So I think part of the motive here is to show, to make a model that it can be done here, even in this climate. So that's what net zero means. It means zero carbon emissions, essentially, and uh, zero net energy usage from the grid or whatever. So that was our goal.